everyone. Welcome back to Country in the City. I'm so glad that you stopped by to see what's going on. And today I have a little bit of a thrift haul. Um, I've been wanting to um, get out to this particular thrift store out in the country um, and just have not been able to get out there. And I was running errands today and found myself in that neck of the woods. So... I decided to make a little detour and stop in and um, see what they had. Now, usually it's kind of like a consignment thrift store um, and half of it, well, not half, about a third of it is women's clothing, um, you know, um, name brand women's clothing and shoes and handbags and swimsuits and like that, but it's all name brand. Um, and then the other two thirds is... It used to be mostly furniture, uh, all different styles, but um, now it's, um, you know, there's still a lot of furniture, like a lot of dressers and chairs and small tables and chair sets. And um, a lot of it is vintage. It looks like, um, you know, maybe they've gone in and cleaned out rooms that have been, stuff has been stored in because it's like a lot of the same stuff, a lot of uh, collections and um, and then in the back of it they have a small room where they call it the linen closet and it's all thrifted uh, I mean it's all vintage uh, linens anything from little hankies to um, table uh, cloths and runners and um, cloth napkins and bedspreads and pillows and you know just aprons and just all kinds of things um and I had I spent almost it was like five minutes shy of being two hours in the store <laughs> that was a long time but I went through that store with a fine tooth comb and I left behind a couple things that I you know will probably over the next few days be kicking myself that I left behind um, they did have a sale on today, like anything with like a tan tag on it. Um, the backs of the tags are different colors. There was blue, green, pink, um, tan, white. Um, but any anything that had a tan tag on it was 25% off. So, And then I really lucked out. So I'm going to show you. I, I only got three things. I left behind like three more that I kind of, four more, five more, six more, about six more things that I really was like, oh, I really kind of like, I guess I'm just going to have to, you know, make my way back that way eventually. Um, uh, but yeah, I have my receipt and I want to show you and tell you uh, what I got and what the prices were. So I guess I'll start with, now you all know that I collect uh, vintage Pyrex. I collect Pyrex, but mostly vintage. Um, other than that, I collect the little four and six cup um, seasonal Pyrex with the lids. Um, they're usually clear and they'll have like, I don't want to say decals, but that's kind of what they're like on them. And they'll represent whatever season we're in. And they're usually, you can find them like at... Walmart, Target, um, I think maybe like Boscovs, for those of you who are on the East Coast and know what a Boscovs is. Um, I think, but mainly that type of store. Um, so yeah, I do collect vintage Pyrex and I collect, I kind of, my whole intention for collecting Pyrex wasn't just to collect everything, but it was to get small, because I want to use what I have. So it was to get small amounts of colors that would represent the seasons when my family has big family gatherings, because that's when I need the extra dishes in that. So like red for like around Christmas, oranges and browns and golds for like around the fall harvest time, um, greens for maybe like um, springtime and then of course and turquoises that type of thing for like the pastel springs 
Um, and that, you know, springtime, the greens and turquoises. And then maybe for summer, like the blue, like the, uh, you know, the real blue for like the patriotic. Um, I can also use the red also for in that patriotic theme. So that's my intention. And, you know, of course, mainly like the bowls and the casserole, the round casserole, the, the oval casseroles and that type of thing is what I'm really looking to collect. Um, maybe pie dishes, uh, pie plates, because I will use those. So the first thing I got was, um, and it, it doesn't have the lid, but I'm going to try to find a lid for it. It is um, the Pyrex uh, 474, one and a half quart. So if anyone has an extra lid, maybe they've broken, let me know. Yeah, it's got the um, Cinderella handles on it for pouring or for um, holding. Uh, it doesn't have the pouring spout like the Cinderella bowls do, but yep, it's like that tomato red. And I think it'll be nice for Christmas, Valentine's Day, uh, in the summer for the patriotic. I Hopefully I can find some blue colonial mist um, to go with it or the blue... Um, snowflake or teardrop whatever they call it some of the pieces have several names they have an official name and then names that people give them so yeah I really like it it's only got one little um flea bite on it well two really it's got a tiny one I don't even know if you can tell it let's see if I can find it now right there and then on this side it's got another one and it literally it looks like maybe a fork or something has scraped it and then of course it's got some dirt some like built up grease there and down here that I'll get off um, very gently using you know some things I have some tricks I have to get it off um, but yeah really good condition when I hold it up to the light to the window those little marks don't even show through um, you know, on this side, on the out, like when I hold it up, I can see one, yeah, two, and they're not big. So very usable. I will use it. One and a half quart, um, four, seven, four dash B. So if you had a lid on the handle part of it, it would say like, uh, four, seven or seven, four you know, dash something or other. It'll say it like etched in the glass, the clear glass lid. So love it. My first red piece. And then, um, I, oh, for that, I paid a uh, red bowl with handles, uh, $6. So not bad because with the lids, I've seen, um, start at about in this area, uh, and on like Mercari, they can start anywhere like $15 and up plus usually $11 or $11.50 or $60 for shipping. So say $12 bucks for shipping. So I think I really, I made out well. And then um, I was going through the store like the third or fourth time. And um, I don't know, you've seen me at, in my kitchen. I have... Um, a dresser that has wooden wheels and I redid it. I chalk painted it black. Um, I only gave it one coat just to see what it would look like because I wasn't sure that was the color I wanted. I have since determined that is the color that I want. I want my island, the dresser that I turned into an island to be black. I'm still working on it. I did get a shelf put in the top where the top drawer was damaged and broken. Now it is a vintage antique dresser. Somebody down the street was throwing it out and she knew that I took wood furniture and she said, do you want it? And so my, I, I took it, she loaded it. She and her husband loaded it into the trunk of my Jeep and I brought it home. My sons unloaded it into the garage and I sanded it down and cleaned it up and, you know, wiped it down to see what it would look like. Well, it has two drawers, middle and bottom. And right now I could only find in my stash of knobs two wooden handles that matched. So one of the drawers is left open a little bit. Well, I was been looking at round knobs because that's really what's comfortable for my hand 
couldn't find anything I liked. So in the store, I was going through and I've seen these vintage porcelain knobs. I just fell in love. I'm, you know, I didn't really know what I was looking for for that dresser. You know, I don't know how old these are. They, there's no dates on them, but they are porcelain and they are, they've got the crackle, the, you know, the glaze is cracked. Now there's some dirt on them and looks like somebody dripped a drop of paint on this one, but um, yeah, no problem. I will, I will take care of it. I'll, you know, clean them up. There's a little drop of paint on that one too, but, and I like the color because it's not really yellow. It's more of like a tan. So I, I kind of looked at it as almost like a burlap color. I don't know if you can see. So that's, I'm going to use these. I got four of them and I paid six fifty. dollars So, you know, I've been looking at hardware, you know, decorative hardware for that. And I could pay six fifty dollars for one. The ones I really wanted were like $10, $10.50. I think they were $10.49 a piece. So that would have been like over $40 plus tax for the knobs I wanted. Yeah, so I was very happy to get these and the fact that they are vintage, I don't know how old or how vintage they are, probably 1960s, 1970s, maybe even the 80s by the look of the, um, yeah, see that paint comes right off with my fingernail. So I'll very carefully just rub it with my nail. So yeah. So, and you could tell it's got like the, the crazing on them. So you can tell that they were, they're porcelain or clay. They were handmade. So I'll get that paint off and I'll use these in my dresser redo, which will be filmed for y'all. So, so far I've spent $12.50 between the Pyrex and my knobs. All right, let's go to the next thing. This, I was at the counter, I was paying, she was cashing me out, sitting right next to the counter was this like cart, two-tier cart, it was pretty big, looked like an old vintage bar cart, metal, probably from the 60s. It looked like it was Art Deco. And it was loaded with small pieces, anything and everything on it. And I was, I, I now one of the things that I've been looking for um, in all the thrift stores, Goodwill and everything, is a small lamp. Just a small one. I didn't want a real big one. Not even like, even a dresser, you know, like a nightstand size lamp or a, a nursery lamp. Maybe even slightly smaller. So, an accent lamp, you know. So, I didn't want a new one. I knew I wanted vintage um, and preferably something vintage country or vintage primitive. Well, I wasn't adverse to milk glass because I see a lot of people have like the hobnail milk glass, the small little accent lamps, and I had seen them in other stores, but they were pricey. Here in New York, they can run you $30, $40 for a small, maybe a foot high milk glass vintage lamp. And sometimes there was no way to tell whether they work. Like at Goodwill, they don't have a place for you to plug them in. So it's a crapshoot whether they work or not. So on that cart, I was looking over it while she was cashing me out. There was no one behind me, so I started looking on it. And don't, lo and behold, this adorable little lamp was nestled down in the middle of it. And it doesn't have like any markings on it. It is milk glass, it is hobnail. I don't know how old it is. 
I, I've looked on it. I haven't really seen any numbers or writing or anything. But if anyone knows anything about this, please let me know. I haven't done any research yet, so I will do that. But you can tell it's been used. The little key on it to turn it on and off is worn. You know, you can tell. And it works. I came home and put, I asked her, I said, does it work? And she goes, yep, we had it on. We've just had it here a long time. And and I I know I've seen this before. It was sitting over on a kidney-shaped vanity and that was in the store. And I was curious about it. But one of the last times it was in there, I had my sons with me. And they were looking for vintage, like, sports equipment and um, hunting equipment. And they didn't. You know, they were in a hurry, but there aren't, I can't find any markings on the inside, but the globe comes out, sits right down, but how adorable. I love this. I know right where it's going to go and that's where it's going to stay. So I am very happy, very, very happy to get this. And the best price, $2. I paid $2 dollars for this lamp so all together i paid fourteen dollars and fifty cents for everything i got um i'm happy with that um because it's not just stuff to just sit around it's actually items that i need and will use and will put to use immediately so i'm very very happy very i'm extremely happy so I want to show you my receipt. You can see it lists right on there. $2 clearance. $6. And $6.50. I'm very happy. So I hope you all enjoyed this little thrift haul of mine. And I will see you again real soon. And I hope you all have a wonderful weekend. Um, I am filming this on Friday. I think today is the 12th. And tomorrow is supposed to be in the 70s here in New York. It's a little chilly today out. I think it's like in the 50s here. It's supposed to be in the 70s. I think high of 76 tomorrow. So I am going to be outside at my son's lacrosse game in the morning and then outside in my yard with my sons helping to clean up we just have a lot of like limbs to pick up um they they said they would help break um we have two big dogs so they're going to help clean up the backyard so that the dogs don't get into stuff and you know carry sticks everywhere and they're going to help rebuild a fire pit in the backyard tomorrow so that will be wonderful. But I hope y'all have a wonderful weekend and I will see you real soon. Bye y'all. God bless.